Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll continue our learning on quick knowledge. And today's topic is about net sand thickness, all right? This will be very interesting and important. So let's go ahead. Okay, let me show the pen first. All right, we start by some descriptions. So net sand thickness denoted by H is the thickness of the reservoir actually contributing to reservoir fluid flow, all right? This is the key. The reservoir sections actually contributing to reservoir fluid flow. And then gross thickness, on the other hand, includes the entire reservoir section, which may include non-reservoir rock, such as interbedded shale, etc. All right, so we now can distinguish between net sand thickness and gross thickness, all right? And net sand thickness is measured in the direction, this is important, perpendicular to the plane of the upper and lower bed boundaries, all right? Perpendicular to the plane of the upper and lower bed boundaries, all right? Later on, I will show you the picture so that we can understand better about this notion. And then net sand thickness is normally estimated from open hole locks by using porosity, clay content, and water saturation cutoffs. All right, that's quite clear. And lock derived net sand estimates may have uncertainty, right? Unfortunately, and the uncertainty can be quite high between 15 to 50% according to Spivey and Purcell. All right, we continue. All right, so the first case is about vertical well, horizontal reservoir. So we have our vertical well here and reservoir horizontal here, all right? And we can see H, our net sand thickness is actually here. You can see it is perpendicular to the plane of the upper and the lower. So this is the upper section, I mean the upper boundary, and this is the lower boundary. And perpendicular, we have 90 degrees here. So our net sand thickness is described here, All right? And you can see the net sand thickness may be obtained directly from the locks in this case, all right? And what about deviated well? In horizontal reservoir, we have reservoir here horizontally and deviated well here. And this is, of course, the net sand thickness, H. Okay, and you can see measured depths, MD, on the locks must be converted first to true vertical depths or TVD to estimate net sand thickness. All right, so be careful there. The MD measured depth needs to be converted first to TVD or true vertical depth for this deviated well case. And then vertical well, we have vertical well here, but we have dipping reservoir. And if this is the upper boundary, lower boundary and perpendicular, so this should be the net sand thickness, okay? And in this case, neither the MD nor the TVD represents the net sand thickness, unfortunately. But maybe, practically speaking, we can consider this to be the H, right? Although it's not accurate, okay? And then again, deviated well, dipping reservoir. Also in this case, H is here, and neither the MD nor the TVD represents the net sand thickness, okay? And lastly, what about horizontal well? So we have reservoir horizontally layered like this one, okay? And we also have horizontal well here. The well bore may not penetrate the full net sand thickness in this case. And in that case, we cannot understand or we cannot estimate the net sand thickness. That's the challenge of net sand thickness estimates in our industry. All right, so the closing remarks, 
net sand thickness is difficult to estimate accurately, unfortunately. And to accommodate the net sand thickness uncertainty, the results of well test interpretation are often presented as permeability thickness product. Okay, instead of only permeability. Okay, because if we don't have an accurate information of age, then we cannot ultimately obtain the permeability or the K. So it is better to use or to apply or to, yeah, to talk about permeability thickness rather than net sand thickness only or permeability only. All right, so that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next quick knowledge videos. All right, thank you.